The Permian Basin Petroleum Association holding their 62nd annual meeting today at the Petroleum Club in Midland. That's where they talked about a number of issues related to the oil and gas industry. But there was one issue that was more of a concern to the industry here in the Permian Basin. News West 9's Hunter Rocco Serra has more on what that is. At the meeting, there were various speakers and even a panel featuring state lawmakers Tom Craddock, Brooks Landgraf, and Kevin Sparks. But according to the PBPA Executive Vice President Stephen Robertson, the main issue on the industry's mind here locally in the Permian Basin is access to electricity. Well, you know, I'd say one of the issues that, that is really, really important and also the timing works out really well right now is that if you look at West Texas, we are greatly underserved by the, the ERCOT grid with electricity delivery. And where that impacts greatly is not just prices for people buying electricity for homes and for businesses, but specifically out in the oil and gas industry. And so one of the projects that we've been focused on as an association is trying to increase electric delivery to operations out in the Permian Basin. It's become such an important issue that last year, Governor Greg Abbott signed House Bill 5066 so the Public Utilities Commission and ERCOT can investigate the issue further. So the legislature last session um, basically demanded that the PUC come out and actually do its own study on the electric needs, both infrastructure and the amount of electricity that's needed for the, for the Permian Basin. Knowing, but they understand um, how critical our industry is to not just the state, but our whole country. Sparks also says that in the future, the oil and gas industry won't be the only industry wanting a slice of the grid. But we're also seeing other influences out here, like data mining and um, Bitcoin mining and potentially AI that's, that's looking to come out here because we're, we're lightly populated. And those industries use tremendous amounts of electricity. That's going to be another issue that we're going to have to try and figure out how we get a, a handle on because those things can set up very quickly and soak up because right now they're not required to build their own power. They're, they're tying into the grid and potentially can pull all of that new, all of those new electrons that we had anticipated were going to be used for oil and gas. Sparks says that the next step for lawmakers is to go over the results of the study and then come up with the most free market approach to offsetting all of the federal subsidies that are distorting the electric market in the state. In Midland, Hunter Alcacer, News West 9.